I think she probably maybe accidentally set some honey in it, huh? That could be, yeah. If it was declared vegan and um, didn't look exactly in that it. I think out. that lactic acid in the olives in California. Lactic, Remember that one? Lactic acid. But it was even it was not necessarily not vegan. It could have been vegan. Lactic acid could be from animal or plant. When the went through Luxembourg and he so forth. <laughs> Jason. Jason. Gonna read You're gonna read it? Jason. Jason, just close the camera, okay? Her first message was an introduction, but when I received her second email the next day, numbering 800 words, it made me wonder what her intentions. Intentions? Why? Who, yeah. What intentions do you have? Hey, when you get an email from a vegan of 800 words, you worry, okay? Okay. I wonder whether she was just bored or trying to become familiar with me so we would meet during my past to Austria. I assume she must be just bored and lonely. <laughs> she took care of her nephews. I began to... What's this word, Jason? I began to postulate... What is that? I don't know. Jason, translate postulate. Oh. I began to theorize about the story that when one party writes a longer email, it indicates they might like the other person. How can you like another person if you don't know the other well, person? Well, 800 word email, of course you like him. There were several times in my past where I would write long emails to a girl but only receive a short reply. <laughs> I didn't hear that because that guy is talking. Okay. There were several times in the past where I wrote a where I wrote long emails to a girl, but only received a short reply. Personally speaking, I can only write a long email if I am motivated enough in the other person. With this idea in mind, Bianca's long email sent very suspicious and mysterious to me. <laughs> I think he's a really weird person. Looking at her profile, there were no clear photos of her. Oh, that's making her looks vague. I was not sure. Are there actually really clear pictures? I was not sure of her intentions and proceeded cautiously since I didn't understand why she would start writing me emails when she had been in communication with my brother Brian first. Oh, he doesn't want to steal Brian, so squeeze, you know? No. This is very, this is, see, this is, you never take your brother's intent. Oh, man. <laughs> Within three days of getting her first message, I already started to think about making a meeting with her possibly along my trip east to Hungary. As the days passed on and I underwent my interview for the airline, the long emails from Bianca started to become tiring. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to know what the real purpose was, exclamation mark. Was she just bored? Question. Yes, I was. Did she write long emails to everyone? Yes, Question. I do. Was she searching for friendship with me? I only Question. look for friends, yes. I was willing to meet her, but I only had a vague idea what she looked like since she wasn't straightforward and sending me a normal photo. Ooh, Jason. I was interested to meet Barkley partly because she was a vegan, but also to find out what motivation was behind writing those long emails. I scheduled to meet her on May 29th, so I had two free days to visit Lint on my own. Instead, I swayed a little south to visit some friends in Cyril while waiting for the big day to happen. The big day. <laughs> big day, Bianca. Oh, hey, the worst thing is, like one year after he wanted to exactly do the same things, I had to sit there and he wanted to make a video of us meeting the same way. As you before. wanted to reenact it? Yeah. 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 I didn't, you, I didn't go through with it. Does it doesn't work. You can't reproduce that, that's, it. Yeah. You can't reproduce second the magic for the first time. Anyways. We tried, I'm, I want to get back to the story. Oh, yeah, okay. We tried to set up a meeting time using email, but Bianca preferred a phone or instant messaging for better reliability. Mm -hmm. As a result, she added me on Skype and MSN the day before meeting her. What? Skype and what? MSN. Okay. The day before meeting her, May 28th. So we could in instant message each other rather than email. So far, I only met her on MySpace and immediately gave her my email address for easier communication. You ready, you ready for the next page? Yeah. Thursday, May 29th, finally arrived and I took the train 
from Cyril to meet her in Linz in the morning. From where? Steyr. Oh, Steyr. Steyr. Steyr to meet Steyr. her in Linz. Steyr. 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 Morning around 9 a.m. We'll, we'll go work on the pronunciations later. Okay. I looked around, but nobody was waiting. Oh. <laughs> so I went to the lockers to store my luggage for my brief six hours in Linz before continuing to Budapest. Returning upstairs in the train station, I, go, I saw a girl sitting on the floor with her mobile phone. I asked her if she was waiting for someone, but she said no. I felt it, it was a joke, but I walked around for a few minutes and waited outside. If she wanted to play a joke with me <laughs> and be unapproachable, then I would wait outside until she came to me. I don't know, is this the girl or not? Is it just a joke? I don't know. Bianca had only recently met my brother Brian four weeks ago on a veggie connection when he contacted her and had and has stumbled upon my profile only 10 days before our meeting today. She contacted me through MySpace after seeing my username. She was lucky to be able to meet me so soon afterwards. You're lucky, very lucky. During our six hours meeting in Lynch, she showed me two health food stores. See, Jason, you never really described whether the girl that said no was the right one. Because now you're just right into her. Join us. I think you left yeah. a lot out there, huh? Right? Right. Jason, you left a lot. Sorry, I'll run my remote. You gotta have notes. more about the. You just. It goes from girl you don't know is it, and then all of a sudden. And you've already said this part here. This was repeated. Okay. So Jason's taking notes now. <laughs> gonna, yeah, I guess this isn't the final. This isn't the final copy. We're gonna get it down to 90 pages. Maybe 80. From its 120. Okay. During our six hours meeting in Lynch, she showed me two health food stores. Oh, it was actually one health food store and one organic store. Okay, so he's not, now he's just getting vague. Yeah. Okay. yeah. One of which I bought six bananas, and she thought that was a lot, as many others have done in the past, because she's normal. Yes. Uh, we took the bus up to visit a site up on the hill. On the bus, I sat in a two place row. Beltenbrook? Beltenbrook. Beltenbrook. Where are you going? You are going to... Oh, Clairvaux? Clairvaux. You must take the bus. Oh. Oh, oh. now? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if we got... Bianca's gonna do the filming. Bianca's yes, filming. I'm, I'm taking... Alright. Mm. Uh, on the bus, I sat in a two-place row but she sat in a row in front of me claiming she wanted to be far from me. <laughs> I went along with her, I said fine, but I asked her if she was in a bad mood. I noticed throughout the six hours that she really did make eye contact often, even when talking to me, wondering, making me wonder if she liked me or not since eye contact was the first sign of attraction. Oh, I'm so attracted to you, Luke. <laughs> I yeah, can't I can't like, yeah, yes. She, <laughs> she was also looking away or down or side to side. You can't use R, R twice, see? R, R, comma. Away, down, or side to side. There we go. Little, little proofreading. <laughs> also, she didn't like having her photo taken. But I still managed to get a few anyways. <laughs> and to this day, he still manages to get a few. After taking the bus up the hill, visiting the church, we walked down the hill and over a bridge back to the She commented, I was surprised you didn't complain about walking. It impressed me. It impressed me by how quickly she walked. Oh, a quick walker, huh? Complimentary to my style. Oh, you guys walk fast together. I <laughs> match made in heaven. When I first met her at the train station, she walked so quickly forward that I had to put effort into keeping up with her. We ate lunch, then visited the bookstore for the remaining time. Having only 20 minutes before the train left, we ran to the train station to pick up my luggage and catch a train. She didn't mind running to gain time. I liked her attitude about that. By the time I left, I commented, now I know why you write long emails. Should I continue? Why do you like to write long emails? Mm -hmm. You are talkative. She asked, is that a bad thing? Question mark. My overall impression was I liked her 
open personality and talkativeness. Is talkative talk adativeness a word? Um, I mean, we better Google talkative. talkativeness. I don't know. I have I never mean, heard it before. I think that must have been a red line under the word program. Yeah. So Jason's inventing words. Might as well. This is Jason Burkish. <laughs> Do you want to continue on? Sure. Well, I think maybe Jason's going to read it. Oh, you read it. No, no, Jason, you're going to read this passage. Just this okay? one? Yeah. Okay. However, with such extensive emails from her detailing what she had done, her emails did not captivate me, nor were meaningful enough for me to write long emails in return. As a result, she got tired of writing long emails and only getting a short response in return. Nearly a month later, on June 21st, I gave her a call to say hi while I was traveling in Panama, nearly 3,000 miles away. A few days later, on the 23rd, when I called her again, I got the impression she was argumentative when she called me arrogant. She doesn't consider me shy since I meet people all over the world. Jason's arrogant now, wow. Oh, he is. On July 1st, the climax happened. <laughs> when, I, when I was busy in Greece studying for my European instrument reading. Okay, I need castles. Castles? I'm looking for some castles. Oh, I don't castles. see castles. When I returned home to receive the longest email ever from Bianca, numbering eight pages in length. <laughs> I nearly wanted to ask my brother Brian why did his friend write me such a long email while I was trying to study. <laughs> wow, so he's just paying you back this week, I guess, huh? No. Oh, uh, I was. I had like an exam like two days later. Uh, that's true. I thought this was absolutely ridiculous, ridiculous. But she wanted to prove to me that I did not know her. I felt sorry for her spending so much time writing an email to me because I didn't feel the extreme joy of reading the paragraphs. <laughs> it was a chore for me to read, and I read it in part over the span of a day or two. It's eight pages. Come on, Jason, it's going to take two days to read. The unusual thing was she signed the email with BB. Which made me wonder about her real intent and purpose was. See, everything you do, everything you do. Dude. Touch my hand. I wonder what the intent and purpose of that was. <laughs> <laughs> I was glad I met her the month before because otherwise it'd be really confusing me why a total stranger would send me such long well she's not a stranger Jason you've already met her no but I said if I yeah. did meet her but why would you say that because you did it was still confusing to me even though I had met her there we go that's, <laughs> you should just left that part in she wrote about her ex-boyfriend and how ah. he felt betrayed okay what do you she... think what do you think Bianca <laughs> Okay. Here, you get a picture of us, Jason. Fish. Fish made her very curious. I sometimes would tell her information but leave her hanging without the conclusion, just oh. increasing her curiosity oh. about me. Very smart. Yeah, oh. she fell in. <laughs> yeah, she told me she didn't understand me and just tried to analyze me. <laughs> Who's analyzing who? <laughs> Oh my. This gave me the impression that she might be thinking about me too much. Oh. Which pointed back to my first inquisitive notion of whether she liked me. I think my fear is whoever writes the longer email is the person more interested. First off, she didn't uh, understand my person confident about myself, causing her to think I was arrogant. Hi, arrogant Jason. <laughs> <laughs> what is your stance on that? Do you think he's arrogant? No, not you. Oh, exactly. I called him that the yesterday or some or two days ago. But when was it? When did I call him naive? Two days ago. Exactly. We'll check his journals, find out the exact time and location too. <laughs> yeah, I don't call him arrogant anymore. I also call him naive now. That's, that's more fitting. You see, you thought his naive was arrogant to me. That's what it was. Yeah. Okay. 
I had read that confidence attracts, but I had not intended it this way. Um, arrogance and confidence are two different things. Arrogance uh, is something negative. Yeah, so you're getting confidence mixed up with me. Yeah, if, if I call you arrogant, then I probably not attracted to you so much. Then I just think you are some jerk or something. I think he analyzed it and came to the wrong conclusion. Wow, well, those things happen. She had probably noticed my confidence simply because I had just finished my airline interview and was feeling pretty happy about having that burden off my shoulders when I met her in Lens. She wondered if I was just putting up a show, but I genuinely felt happy about making the trek across Europe. Try to see if it's open. Oh, I have to do it. Look this way. Look. How many candles do you like? One or two? One. I don't know. I want to keep the one. I'll wait for the next church. Maybe. I don't want to just go to my first church. This is important. Our experience at Anna Bananas. Yeah. The most expensive meal of my life was a vegan meal with you guys. <laughs> where we spent 102 euros on our meal, which is what? like 160 dollars. 160 Canadian. No steak, no beer, just juice and vegan <laughs> food, so juice and vegetables. The most expensive meal I've had in my life to this point. Mm. How about I go to Morton's in Seattle and have a nice steak? Yeah, for but the bucks. best thing is not all of us had like a soup. Oh, yeah, I had soup, so that really wrapped up the bill, the $10 soup. I'm sorry. And not everyone had uh, a dessert, so. But that it compensates for it. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't have a dessert, so I got soup instead. Yeah. But the best part of the whole thing was what? Well, Jason finally had beer juice with me. Because apparently pear is beer. <laughs> so Jason had his first beer with me. This is an expensive experience. Yes. <laughs> it was more than I spent my whole trip in Europe so far. <laughs> it was one restaurant. Ah, your hand was in front. Please. Okay, Jason is going to sing now, so sorry for little kids and anyone old, you may not survive this. And Jason, give us a little background on the song before you uh, start out. Alright, well why don't we stop so I can concentrate on oh, this. Oh, we gotta stop? Okay, we're yeah. gonna stop in Maybe the hills of France. No, I'm not standing beside you. You're gonna all sing right. by yourself, Jason. You gotta sing to me. Sing to the camera. Sing to, sing to all the folks at home. Tell us a little background on the song. Oh, Bianca has to come in. No. Oh, I'm gonna, I have to speak to someone. Yeah, let him sing to you, Bianca. You're it's it's romantic. It's romantic. Come on. It's not romantic. He can't sing. Huh? Hey. So back in 2004, July, I decided one day to try out for American Idol editions. Now, not many people believe this story, but actually, I found the song, recorded it, printed it off the internet, the lyrics, and practiced every day at work. My co-workers at Las Vegas Executive Air Terminal listened to me sing and gave me comments. Okay, are we going to sing the song now? So the title is called... Bianca? No, you got to sing to Bianca. You're singing to Bianca now. Bianca. Can you see Bianca? I, yes, yes. I'm it's good. Listening. I'm just taking pictures like what you always do to me. Alright. So what it was called is... 
I Can't Keep My Eyes Off You by Frankie Valli. I... Oh, wait. Let me see how to start. <laughs> oh my God, no, <laughs> okay, Jason, live. You're just too good to be true. Can't keep my eyes off of you. You had your eyes closed. You'd be like heaven to touch. I want to hold you so much. At long last, love has arrived. And I... I'm glad I'm alive. There's nothing more than you can believe in yourself. Oh, Jason. I don't know how you didn't get through to the top round. I don't know how you weren't the next American top idol. I think we need acapella. to be really honest with him. Maybe Jason, you cannot sing. You're not going to be like your uh, kindergarten teacher who told you can't sing and then you don't want to sing forever. Yeah, but at least I admit that I can't sing. I think you can sing. I no. think we should maybe we should have an acapella group of people that can't sing and have our own group, the non-singers. I'd like to hear Bianca sing. And we'll I will never her, sing. I we'll call herself the Sing Sang Sing. That's sing Sang Songs. Singing is like mushrooms. I don't like mushrooms. You don't like mushrooms. I don't like. Singing. I already told him. I say a lot of things, and he said, "I don't like it. I li don't like it like mushrooms." So I'm gonna I'm gonna practice a new song for Bianca now. Oh, That's my okay. next project. Oh wow. my God, so Bianca, torture. you're very lucky. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of both. A little bit of both. Well, my next idea. We'll see how that works. Oh, it's getting kind of nice up. The sun is shining. Ooh, walk, mm. ooh, walk past shot. Thing. I'm not religious because I don't pray because I don't believe in a God. Well, why do you want me to sit down and pray? Because you're so not religious. Why did she make me do it then? Because you don't you have do anything against it. Yeah, exactly. But it you can't make friends. someone do that. Yeah, Jason. It's but just... I'm not pretending to be another person online itself, for example, like you do. He pretends to be a Muslim single. Did I tell you that? Yeah, he, well, he never told me. He, he told had me. a Muslim single profile. Yeah. He yeah. had a Christian single profile, and so on. Maybe Jason's really confused. I think he is. I'm actually a game profile. Oh, did you? No. <laughs> Not yet. Let's, let's I was that. looking in the right places yet. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I gay, just thought of it. Maybe gay Christian or gay Muslim websites. I think yeah, we should try that next. We should. Go, yeah. And he's always like, oh, I believe so much in this religion and I believe so much in that religion and stuff like that. Are you gonna hold this for a second? Hold again. I want to pass with that. Yeah. He's like always like we should need to be another single person Muslim. Online. Did you actually talk to anybody, Jason? No. <laughs> he pretends that he likes animals, but he gives a crap about them. He's vegan. He's not. But he buys, he he's not even a real vegan. He, he eats. He buys bee pollen. <laughs> he is a vegan. A vegan. No, he's actually a vegetarian because sometimes he eats even stuff that have eggs and dairy in them. See, I'm okay. So he, I think he's, he's a pretend vegan. He's a vegan not because of the animals, but because of the health reason, I think. Yeah, but then he shouldn't pretend that he lo that he cares about animals if if he is like torturing little flies. <laughs> Do you torture flies, Jason? Yes. Fly so was torturing me. <laughs> <laughs> he was really, really bad. He put it like in a glass or something and wanted it to slowly suffocate. He doesn't just kill them. He tortures them. It was, was his, a lot of fun, Jason. It was his little cage. It was your pet fly, Jason? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's... I don't know. I don't understand a person like that. You have a pet cat. I just have a pet yeah, fly. I put my pet cat in somewhere and let it slowly suffocate. It didn't suffocate. It just... Uh, oh, yeah, because I told you to let the fly escape. That's why. You would want to how it else do you... it suffocated. Oh, my, my, my. I don't get it. <laughs> Oh, well, I, I don't worry about not getting Jason down there. I don't think anybody does. I decided not to keep a fly as a pet anymore after Bianca told me it was a nice. I think 
think it's common sense that you don't do such things. Well, the fly was flying on my head and on my oh, yeah. food. Just, just kill it then. Like the other day, I had a fly in my room. I opened the door and directed the fly to to. I had to I had twenty flies in my camper in Vermont. Yeah, but you don't trap them. And if just you have, them. yeah, you don't. Just do get this. rid of them, Jason. No, he was inside my bag of food. So get rid of it, kill it, or let it go. No, you just take the bag of food outside and let the fly escape. It's that simple. You don't torture little You gotta animals. treat animals and stuff as the way you'd be treated, Jason. Yeah. Would you be happy about being in the glass jar with no air? Yeah, exactly. Bianca's gonna you do see, this too. even he understands better than you, and he eats meat. <laughs> but you don't eat flies. Like flies. I just kill them. Just yeah, like but them. It, but you don't torture them at least. Mm -hmm. so you gotta treat everything like you want to be treated, Jason. Yeah, I just don't want to suffer. So quick and quick and painless death for most things. Yeah, that is stress. <laughs> Okay, Bianca. Coming down. Come on down. That's the easiest way. So Jess, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to help your girlfriend down the hill. No, he wanted me to see me fall. Instead of taking her. photos. One, two, three. Hey Bianca, where are we? We are in uh, Greenland. It's similar to Greenland actually, but we're in Clairvaux. It's a little village in Luxembourg, the country where Bianca's going to school. And it's a one hour drive or a train ride from Luxembourg City. Bianca, where are you going? Well, we lost one of our participants on this interview, but <laughs> continuing on, it's a very quaint village actually, lots of bells and whistles, trains, all part of the experience here in Luxembourg. We're going to continue visiting some of the tourist sites down the street, so come along. For this one? One more? There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's agriculture. Mmm. Oh my, look at that. Oh, I, I love this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not the sky. It's not It's just regular rail train. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bianca likes that joke. But. Making famous pancakes, right? Vegan. For this weekend. I'm not tossing it over, I'm taking it out. <laughs> Perfect. So here is Luke's. Yay!
the end production. Do you oh, believe in get married. Do you I believe in it? I don't know when I have kids at the moment. Well, of course you don't. You're in school. Ah. Uh, and you're young. Just plain that. I don't want to have kids before 30. Before 30, huh? Yep. Me too. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, do you have one? <laughs> it's not that long anymore for you. No, I don't think my. Uh, yeah, what? I don't think it'll happen before 30 for me. <laughs> Yeah, it can even always well, happen. It can happen, but I don't know if. Uh, we, are, we are here in Luxembourg. You could always go somewhere. One night stand happens. Oh, wait, it takes nine months until the baby comes. Oh, and the pepper farm. Ooh, they more. Yay! Thank you. Want to go more? Do you just. Uh, okay, yes, please. Can I take you? What about now? Oh my god. I'm going to brush my teeth now. I need the camera to me again. Right after we had this conversation, you just point a camera. I can't believe it. I really don't believe it. Well, it can't be true. Oh my god. I switch it on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play with it.